Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. Born into a family with extraordinary powers, where everyone has some special gift, an ordinary girl becomes the only hope to save her people. Today we will recap the story of the 2021 movie, Encanto. Hidden among the mountains of Colombia lives the Madrigal family who, 50 years ago, received a great blessing. When Alma Madrigal, the matriarch of the family, had her three children, she and her husband, Pedro, were forced to leave their home. At that time, many joined them in the hope of finding a new home, but during the long journey, Pedro eventually died and Alma had to care for her babies alone. However, in the darkest moment of her life, the candle that her husband had given her was covered by magic, generating a flame that would never go out. On that day, Alma and her people were blessed with an enchanted refuge to live in. The miracle grew even bigger, bringing the family's new home to life. Since then, every member of the Madrigal family, upon reaching the age of five, is given a gift, which they must use to care for and protect their community. Mirabelle, the youngest member of the family, has just turned five and is getting ready to receive her miracle. Ten years have passed and the girl, with the help of her casita, prepares for the celebration that will take place that night. Antonio, her younger cousin, will receive his gift that night. While setting the table, the girl is questioned by some children who want to know what her gift is. But instead of talking only about herself, the young woman decides to introduce all the members of the Madrigal family. Her older sister, Isabella, has the power to make everything around her blossom. Luisa, her middle sister, is incredibly strong. Her abuela is responsible for keeping the whole family in order. Her aunt Peppa controls the weather through her mood. Her uncle Bruno, who nobody talks about anymore, once had a horrible vision about the future and disappeared. Their mother, Julieta, can cure any disease through her food. Felix and Augustine join the family by marrying Julieta and Peppa. Dolores, her cousin, can hear the slightest noise from miles away. And Camilo, Dolores and Antonio's brother, can transform into anyone. Together, they work every day for the growth and development of their village, which they consider a great paradise. Ultimately, however, the children really want to know what Mirabelle's superpower is. Upon hearing this, Dolores reveals that the young girl has not been given any gifts. After being unmasked, Mirabelle returns home to help with the preparations for the ceremony. Her father, who was disfigured after being attacked by a swarm of bees, tries to calm her down and tells her that she doesn't have to work so hard. Her mother is worried, as this is the first family ceremony since the day Mirabelle did not receive her powers. Everyone was extremely anxious, especially Abuela. While Mirabelle takes care of the decoration, the woman appears and asks the girl to let someone else do the work. According to her, that day needs to be perfect, so she didn't want to risk Mirabelle messing it up. Upon hearing this, she decides to go to her room. While everyone is searching the house for Antonio, Mirabelle knows very well where the boy is hiding and how to get him out. She uses the birthday gift to cheer him up, but the boy is very nervous. His biggest fear is that he will not receive a gift and end up disappointing his family. Mirabelle tries to calm him down and asks the boy to open his present. Inside the box was a stuffed jaguar, since the boy loves animals. At this time, the casita begins to apprehend them, for the ceremony will soon begin. That night, the whole village is in celebration and gathers at the Madrigal family home to celebrate. Abuela begins the ceremony and Antonio invites Mirabel to walk with him to his door. As they walk up the stairs, the young woman remembers the day of her ceremony. Unlike what happened to everyone in her family, the moment she touched the doorknob, the door disappeared and the candle almost went out. However, when Antonio touches the doorknob, a bright glow spreads through the door and a toucan lands on his shoulder. They begin to chat, and soon other animals appear to celebrate. Upon seeing this, Abuela sighs with relief and everyone is invited to see the boy's new room, which actually resembles a jungle. While the guests were marveling at this amazing place, a jaguar appears and takes Antonio for a ride. Although she is proud of her cousin, Mirabelle can't help the sadness that accompanies her that day. Seeing the whole family gathered for a photo and being left out, she feels even more distant from the people she loves. Tired of hiding her pain, Mirabelle decides to express her frustration in song. At that moment, cracks begin to appear throughout the house and spread to every corner, from the floor to the wall. Desperate, the girl interrupts the party to call her grandmother and warn her that the house is in danger. However, by the time the woman goes to check what is going on, everything is back to normal and there are no more cracks anywhere. Mirabelle tries to explain herself, but is interrupted by Abuela, who assures her that everything is fine and asks the guests to return to the party. Later, the girl tries to convince her mother that she is telling the truth, but although Juliet wants to believe her daughter, the woman thinks she was seeing things. Juliet knew that this would be a difficult night for Mirabelle, perhaps that is why the young woman saw cracks everywhere. That night, 
While everyone was sleeping, the young woman decides to go and check if something has happened to the candle, since a few hours ago the flame almost went out. However, when she approaches the window, she hears her grandmother talking to her late husband and asking for his help, because the family miracle was dying. The woman didn't know what was happening or even how to stop her house from being destroyed, so she asks Pedro to show her a solution. Upon hearing her grandmother's request, Mirabel is determined to save the magic of that house. The only problem is that she doesn't know how to do this. So she decides to go and get information from her cousin, Dolores, who hears absolutely everything. But the young woman says that the only one who is plumbed with magic in that house is Mirabel. However, Luisa was nervous the night before, because Dolores had been listening to her ticking eye all night. During breakfast, Mirabel sits down next to her sister to investigate the reason for her anxiety. However, upon hearing the whispering, Abuela pulls the young woman to sit beside her. She then continues her speech. The woman talks about the marriage proposal that Mariano will soon make to Isabella, the most perfect of the family. According to Dolores, the proposal would take place that night and Mariano intends to have five children. This information clearly makes Isabella uncomfortable, but as the darling of the family, the girl could not disappoint her grandmother, who intends to increase the Madrigal family more and more. After breakfast, Mirabel goes to talk to Luisa. By this time, the young woman is already using her gift to help the villagers. Luisa is always very busy, as everyone asks for her help all the time. While the girl works, Mirabel goes after her to find out what her sister knows about magic. Stressed out and overwhelmed, Luisa decides to come clean and tells us that she is nervous and anxious, because she is afraid of failing and losing her family's trust. The night before, when Mirabel saw the cracks, Luisa felt weak and her greatest fear is losing her gift, because this, she says, would make her useless. The young girl claims not to know what is ruining the miracle, but before her uncle Bruno leaves, she overhears a comment from her grandmother saying that she had a terrible vision about the destruction of the casita. However, no one knows exactly what was in the vision, because no one has ever found it. Therefore, Mirabel decides to go to Bruno's tower in order to find this vision. As soon as she opens the door, she finds a waterfall of sand. While trying to cross it, Mirabel ends up falling into a desert, where there was a gigantic mountain. Pico, the toucan, appears to help her. After climbing hundreds of steps, she discovers that the bridge that would take her to her uncle's room is broken and she has to improvise with a rope and a piece of wood. While walking through the place, she bumps into a clay jar, out of which come some rats. The animals then enter a bizarre sculpture carved into the wall. After this scare, Pico leaves and leaves Mirabel alone. The girl continues exploring that cave and finds a pool of sand, where there were a green light glowing. Soon after, the girl realizes that those were pieces of a puzzle and begins to put them together. At that instant, the house begins to crack again and Mirabel discovers that she is to blame for ruining the magic. Seeing that the place was about to collapse, she starts to pick up all the pieces of the vision and keeps them in her bag. She then runs out of the place and almost gets thrown off the cliff. Later, Mirabel returns home and is interrogated by her grandmother, who wishes to know where she has been. Suddenly, Luisa appears and reveals that she is losing her strength. Upon hearing this, Abuela gets worried, but she can't solve anything now because she needs to go to the Guzman house to talk about Isabella's engagement. Back in her room, Mirabel tries to put all the pieces of the vision together, but her Aunt Peppa shows up to get the rest of Antonio's things, and the girl takes the opportunity to ask about her Uncle Bruno's visions. However, the woman becomes nervous and a cloud hangs over her head. Mirabel asks if being in one of Bruno's visions was a positive or negative thing, and then Felix appears. The man says that Bruno only predicted bad things and being in his vision would be a sign of ill omen. Many years ago, on Peppa and Felix's wedding day, it was a beautiful day, but Bruno predicted that it would rain. This makes Peppa extremely nervous, which causes a big storm. Soon after, Dolores shows up and reveals that, to this day, she hears Bruno mumbling around the house, but she believes it is all in her head. Everyone in the village has terrible memories of Bruno and Macabre stories about his predictions. While the other members of the family prepare the dinner table for Mariano's arrival, Mirabel returns to her room determined to find out the truth. After putting all the pieces of the puzzle together, Augustine shows up to call her for dinner and discovers that his daughter is the reason the house is falling apart. They talk about what happened and the man asks the girl not to say anything to anyone, because that secret should stay between them. However, to Mirabel's misfortune, her big-eared cousin was nearby and hears the entire conversation. During dinner, gossip spreads until it reaches her mother's ears. As Mariano prepares to propose, the floor begins to crack. Mirabel tries to cover the cracks when she sees some animals stealing the pieces from her vision and putting the puzzle together. Everyone starts to freak out and Abuela finally manages to find out what the vision was that made Bruno leave. 
The cracks spread in, due to Peppa's nervousness, a storm happens inside the house. Everyone leaves the dining room stunned and Mirabelle spots some rats trying to steal the vision pieces. The girl goes after them and finds a hole that was hidden behind the wall. As she follows the corridor, she finds a bizarre man who was wearing a hood to hide his face. Upon seeing the young woman, the guy runs away and Mirabelle goes after him. She pursues him until she is stopped by a hole in the wooden floor. But this obstacle is not enough to stop her. Mirabelle tries to cross, but ends up falling. When the piece of wood she was holding onto was about to break, Bruno appears and holds her hand. However, the floor breaks and he ends up falling down. Luckily, the hole was only a few meters deep and no one was injured. After leaving that place, Mirabelle finds the place where her uncle has lived in hiding all these years and discovers that he keeps filling in the cracks to keep the house from collapsing. The man lives in that hiding place with his rats, and the place where he takes his meals has a great view of the Madrigal family's dining room. This helps Bruno still feel like part of the family. Mirabelle questions why she is in the vision, but her uncle says he doesn't know what it means. He tells that on the night Mirabelle did not receive her powers, Abuela became worried about the family's future and begged Bruno to see the future for answers. After seeing the magic in danger and the house crumbling, he saw Mirabelle. Unlike all his previous visions, this one did not have a clear answer, it could change. It was as if the future was undecided. However, instead of revealing his vision, he decided to destroy it and simulate his escape. Bruno was not willing to once again face the judgments of his family, so he preferred to leave. After telling Mirabelle everything he knows, the man asks her to leave. But instead, the girl asks him to have another vision. Then, perhaps, they will find a way out of that situation. However, Bruno says he needs a large space to have the visions. At that instant, Antonio appears and offers his room. The boy says that the mice have told him everything. After preparing the ritual, Bruno and Mirabelle hold hands and the vision begins. A butterfly appears and they begin to follow it. Just then, the candle appears in the vision and she is glowing stronger than ever. In front of it is Mirabelle. In the vision, the girl is hugging Isabella, the most annoying person in her family. Although she does not get along with her older sister, the girl is determined to swallow her pride to save magic. She goes to her sister's room and tries to apologize for ruining her marriage proposal, but Isabella is furious. The girl reveals that she has always given up who she is to please her family. She was even willing to marry Mariano so as not to disappoint her grandmother, and yet Mirabelle made sure to ruin everything. During the outbreak, instead of flowers, cacti sprouted. Isabella is excited by the novelty. After all, she had never grown anything but flowers. From then on, the young woman decides to let everything she feels spring forth instead of trying to be perfect all the time. Mirabelle realizes that her sister's life is not a bed of roses. Although she has great powers, she carries a great responsibility on her back and sacrifices herself for the sake of her family. They embrace and the flame from the candle grows stronger, just as in Bruno's vision. Seeing the two having fun together, Abuela is furious and claims that Mirabelle is a bad influence on her sister. And it doesn't end there. The matriarch says that the cracks started because of the girl, just as it was her fault Bruno left. Ultimately, the old lady blames the girl for destroying the family, and Mirabelle realizes that she will never be good enough for her grandmother. While they were arguing, the house and the village begin to crumble and the candle is knocked down. Everyone loses their powers and Mirabelle runs to try to recover the magic candle. To save the Madrigal family, the casita throws everyone out, while Mirabelle remains inside, trying to save the miracle. When she finally gets hold of the candle, the house begins to collapse. The young girl is protected by some furniture, but soon the candle is completely extinguished and the casita completely loses its life. Faced with this chaos, the girl decides to run away and spends the night hiding in the forest. The next morning, while her relatives are searching for her, her grandmother finds her sitting on the edge of a lake. The young woman was still crying over what happened and asks forgiveness for causing so much trouble. At this time, her grandmother sits down next to her and reveals that she has never been able to return to that place. It was in that river where the miracle happened and where Pedro was killed. As she talks, Alma remembers her wedding. That day she was extremely happy. Soon after, the news came that his wife was pregnant with triplets and the couple was anxious about the news. When the babies were born, the village where they lived was invaded and everything turned to ashes. The couple and their people went on in search of a new beginning, but while crossing the river, the men who invaded their village found them and Peter had to sacrifice himself for his family. As Alma fell into tears, the miracle happened and her people were saved. The woman claims that Mirabelle never destroyed her family. It was her fault. Alma was so afraid of losing the miracle that she forgot why she had received it. Just then, Mirabelle sees the butterfly from Bruno's vision and invites her grandmother to accompany her into the river. 
The girl tells her abuela that because of her, the Madrigal family exists. Because of her, the miracle happened, and she says that there is nothing that has been ruined that cannot be fixed. They embrace and thousands of butterflies appear all around them. As they prepare to return to the village, Bruno appears and says that it was all his fault. At this moment, his mother hugs him and assures him that she is very happy to see him. Together, the three return home and are reunited with the rest of the family. Soon after, the whole village shows up and they begin to rebuild the Madrigal home. A few months later, the home is finally ready and Mirabelle is the first to open the door. By touching the doorknob the magic returns and the house comes alive again. Now everyone can party together again. So, what did you think of this movie? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like the video, like it and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.